Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman 1601 EXP. This is what's known as an expandable, commonly called a hybrid unit. A lot of people like these because they're fairly lightweight, they're short, and you have plenty of amenities in here with lots of sleeping space. Let's actually start off on the kitchen though. You'll see the really nice, they kind of upgraded here your uh, thermofoil or seamless countertops. And not only do those look great, but they're also very functional. They're more durable than your standard T-mold. Plus it allows for an undermount sink here, which gives a uh, clean look in the kitchen. Plus when you add in the high rise faucet there and the large single basin sink, it allows you to easily wash and rinse some of your larger dishes right in there. Right behind that, you will see that you have a window as well as an LED light up top, so plenty of light in the kitchen here, whether it's day or night. And over to this side, you have a two burner cooktop. One of the things I really like about this is the fact it is recessed with the glass cover, so you can utilize this as prep space. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. They just have it lifted up and you lose this as prep space. The small countertop like this, you definitely need it. So you can fold it up just like so in order to access those burners, plus this doubles as a backsplash, which is cool because the glass is much easier to clean than most of your wallboard. If we drop down below here, you will see two large drawers, that way you have plenty of room for your flatware, some of your larger utensils, I mean you can basically fit all those right in here. Then you have another drawer for some of your other items, you know, if you want to put like some of your bowls or plates in there, you can certainly do that. And then right over here to the side, you have some additional storage underneath the sink, which, you know, if you can find a small trash can, you might be able to sneak one in there. If we take a look up top, right over here, you have some good storage up top there. Your control panel is on the other side. That is right over here. So as soon as you walk in, it is easy to access. Be able to flip some lights on. Over to the side is your stainless steel microwave there. As I mentioned, lightweight, 3,280 pounds on this unit. And directly underneath that is your hood with both a light and a fan. Uh, pretty neat thing here, you'll see that the light is LED. So that's a pretty big deal if uh, you plan on doing some boondocking, which are a lot of people with hybrids, it's kind of what they want to do. Get out in nature, and that LED light isn't near a drain. A lot of people turn on their hood light not thinking, leave it on. And it actually is a uh, fairly significant drain on the battery. So LED lights are cool. Moving in a little bit further here, storage all the way across the top here. You can take a look at that. So that's some great extra storage area, whether you want to use that for additional pantry or if you want to put board games or whatever else up there. Again, it is just a good, great usable space. LED light at underneath, as I mentioned, plus a window there. You have a jackknife style sofa. I do like the jackknife sofas in here for a couple different reasons. One, you have removable armrests, but the fact they give them to you in the first place is great because a lot of manufacturers with jackknives don't. It's just kind of awkward to sit there. So the armrests, again, give you just a little more comfort. Plus, you can take them out when you drop it down into a bed. The other thing I like though is this right here. Look at that, you have a center armrest. So that way you kind of get almost pseudo theater seating here where you sit down, armrests on both sides, little cup holder right there in the center. Uh, you know, again, I just, I enjoy the versatility. Directly underneath, of course, as I mentioned, this does drop down into a bed. You will also see you have some storage there. You do have access to that storage outside as we will see when we go out there. Your furnace is located underneath there too. It's a direct vent furnace. Does a great job of heating this space up for you. The first bed is right up front. You can see that uh, all three sides do have zippers so you can unzip that, get some excellent airflow running through here. And again, as I mentioned, people, uh, as I mentioned, a lot of people really like hybrids. Uh, because of, again, the portability, the towability, but also because of how easy they are to set up compared to like your standard pop-up. Rather than having a bunch of bars and stuff you have to prop up outside, folks, all you have to do is undo some latches, it drops right down. You have these cables right here supporting it. Those cables can support over a thousand pounds, so you definitely don't have to worry about this guy breaking on you. Uh, you'll also see the hook here in order to hold everything out. And then the, the cushion does fold up here, so when this, again, when this folds, the cushion folds right up. You have these in order to hold the cushion in when you're traveling. It is a pretty simple process. One of the things I like though is how thick the cushion actually is here. So that way when you are laying here at night, it is quite comfortable. Uh, you know, you're not going to feel the seam or anything in there. Over to the side here is the dinette. So this gives you an excellent place to sit obviously to have a meal or play games together. But a couple other things that I really do enjoy about it. One is the proximity to the sofa. So that way if you do have uh, friends and family in here, you can have excellent conversation. 
The table here is also removable. So if you want to take this outside just to have open space there, you can do that. Or you can fold the legs up, drop it right down on these rests here, put the cushions on top, and this will create, again, another sleeping space. Underneath, you have easy access storage. You can see that right there. Just swing the door open so you can get to that. You will have that storage on both sides. Uh, again, big window here. Right up above that, you will notice they put a backer in the wall, so you have a spot to mount a TV if you wish to have one. The appropriate connections are right over here on the side, including your audio video cables here, which are tied in to your uh, multimedia center. So this unit is a DVD player, which is cool, so you can put the DVD right in there. Again, plug those guys in, you are good to go. Plus, it is Bluetooth capable, so if you have music on your phone or maybe you've downloaded the, uh, you know, a podcast. My personal favorite right now is the Stories from the Road podcast. Just download that on there, hook up to Bluetooth. You can listen to it either in the speakers out in, in, uh, right in the camper or in the speakers outside. This unit does control both of them. You'll also notice you have a little storage right next door. If you want to just watch some over-the-air channels, you will notice your uh, TV antenna is right up here. This is a WineGuard Razor antenna which is great because it's low profile. You no longer have to crank it up and down or, you know, like a lot of people do, forget to put it back down and have it snap off. Not the case here. All you have to do is just turn it to find the best signal. Uh, works pretty darn well. Over to the side is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. You have the stainless steel looking panels on the front right there. As you will see, plenty of storage. You have the cutout there for some of your taller items too. So if you have you know, like a two liter or a half gallon of milk or something like that, you're definitely able to fit that in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right up above me here is your AC unit. So not only does this one have heat, it does have AC. Uh, again, that's a, a big plus from a lot of pop-ups. You know, I know some of them certainly do have ACs, but uh, it's much more common to get an AC in a hybrid. So, uh, you know, on those really hot days, you can cool it off if there's not enough of a breeze. Deep drawer right underneath the fridge there too. So if you, again, you have some larger deeper items, you know, maybe some of your pots and pans, you can drop right down in there. The bathroom in the 1601 features a foot flush lever toilet here. As you'll notice, you do have sufficient leg room as well as shoulder space. And up above that, you have robe hook. So a great place to hang a towel or, you know, a robe as the name says. Over to this side is your Neo Angle Shower. You'll notice you have a built-in curtain there. You also have your hand wand for easy showering, couple of shelves, and a skylight up top to let in some natural light as well as give you additional headroom. And then next to that is your vanity. You'll see your mirrored medicine cabinet up top with storage behind it. Down below is the sink top and you have additional storage underneath that as well. Right in the back here is your second bed. It sets up just like the one up front. Again, zippers all the way around here. You also have an electrical outlet right down below. So if you need to charge any cell phones at night, if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can plug that in there. And then your fuse box is right next to that. As we start up front on the outside of the 1601, you will see right underneath here, this unit comes with two 20 pound propane tanks and a cover. That of course will operate your furnace as well as your cooktop inside. And then right behind that, you will see your rails for your battery. You'll also notice this unit has the black kind of diamond uh, etched pattern up front here. And essentially this is a rock guard to help protect your front end from any rocks or debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we come around to the side, you will see the fiberglass exterior on here, nice and smooth, aesthetically pleasing, easy to clean. You'll also see this unit has solar prep. So again, if you plan on doing some boondocking, all you have to do is buy some portable panels, plug them in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Your front storage on here does have a covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down. It's also magnetic, which is great, you can just flip it up just like so. You know, if you have kids, they're running by and they go to shut it, you don't have to worry about any plastic tabs or anything breaking on you. And if you take a look up front there, again, as I mentioned, that it shares the same storage compartment uh, as I showed you underneath that jackknife sofa, but that way you do have a couple different access points. You have a large power awning on here, basically covers the entire length of the camper. Touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And as you can see, there's an LED light strip underneath there, so that way you have light at night. You also have two outside speakers. As I previously mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. And again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Right up here is your fresh water inlet for your fresh tank. So uh, one more time, if you're doing some boondocking, you're going to want water with you. That is where you will fill your fresh tank. 
Electrical outlet right outside here is fantastic. Need to plug anything in, that's gonna be the place to do it. And then your entryway is right here, two foldable steps. You have the grab handle right here as well. And you'll also notice this unit has a three year structural warranty. Coleman, that's, or folks, that's one great thing about Coleman. This manufacturer has been in the camping industry for a long time, and they are definitely standing behind their product right here. We take a look in the very back. Again, you will see your rear bed right here. I do want to show you the latches I was talking about inside. That's right here, pretty simple. Again, these will close off. You just kind of lift them up like so. That'll allow the bed to drop down. You have your rear bumper on this unit, which is great. You'll notice that one does have the end cap, so you have a place to store your sewer hose. And then you will see you have a spare tire mounted there as well. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it is very easy to access. On the off-door side is your 30 amp detachable power cord. You'll plug that right in there. You'll also see that right over here you have a light. This is really cool because if you're like me, when you go camping, it's generally after work. So if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, the light there will aid you in that. I showed you where your fresh water fill is, but if you have city water, that is going to hook up right over here. Not to be confused with the one next door, which is your black tank flush. This is great as well. It's something you generally don't get on small campers, so I love the fact that it's on here. What this does is when you're done camping, rather than sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just screw that hose right in here. The black tank has sprayers built in. It'll help wash those solids that are uh, left behind for you. You also have uh, your TV inlet right there, cable inlet. So if you plan on, you know, if you have cable at your campsite, you want to hook it up, that's where you'll do it at. Water access right over here, is, this is a spray port. You have a little blue hose that screws right into there. And again, just gives you that water access. And then right up front here, we'll open this up. You will notice you have some additional storage on this side. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light 1601 EXP. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.